It is, uh, it's been, I for one think it's a great winter storm, but uh, I know it's, it's inconvenience for those of you who are out having to try to get around. You don't want to do that today. Uh, I've put together a little something to talk about how this storm ends up wrapping up, and uh, you can see it on the bigger monitor over here. The end of this storm. It will not taper off. It's not going to go from, you know, heavy snow that accumulates to a moderate snow to a light snow to a, to flur to a few flurries and then you're finished. That's not this, that is not how this storm is behaving. It's going to stop pretty abruptly out there. Uh, you'll have heavy snow one minute and then you are done the very next. And if you take a look at what we see on the Vortex satellite and radar, and I know, John, you were just mentioning this, particularly this band that we see in portions of New Jersey around Parsippany. Okay, Parsippany, you're very dumb. You're very close to being finished with the storm altogether. But notice, you have a band right now on top of you that is putting snow down at approximately an inch an hour. So you're still accumulating, and then literally in a very short period of time, within the hour, you're finished with the storm altogether. If you take a look at the wind gusts and how it's working out, uh, if you've been with me for the last couple of days, I've been talking about this thing called the 70 40 line, where when you put a winter storm within uh, that box, which is basically going from Montauk down to the very tip of Ocean County, if you put the storm within that box, okay, you have a real problem. It's been in that box all day. It's just now, you see the center right there? Just now starting to move out of the box. Uh, so let's talk about some of these snow totals that we have out there. Uh, Sussex County. In Wantage, New Jersey, has 10 inches. You're basically done. Uh, it could be a couple of you know stragglers on the backside, but basically done with the heavy accumulating snow. Fairfield County, Brookfield, Connecticut, you're 10 and a half inches. You got a good two and a half hours to go. I mean, there's more to come for you. Bergen County, Westwood, New Jersey, you have eight inches on the ground right now. You have at least another hour. Uh, let's move forward to the next map. We'll take you to, I know New York City right now is resting at like around six inches or so. That was just updated. All these numbers have been updated. Orange County, Warwick, New York has 11 inches, at least another hour as well. Then we get to Manhattan, five inches. This has just been updated to six inches on the ground, and I give it another couple of hours there. And then you got to LaGuardia, nine inches on the ground, two more hours to go for you. Uh, a lot of us are going to be right around that 12 inch mark. Uh, Suffolk County, Farmingville, New York has 9.4 on the ground with a good four more hours to go. Uh, and if you take a look at what we've been forecasting uh, all along, that six to 10 for a pretty broad stroke, 10 to 14 uh, the further east you go. I still think this looks pretty good with the lower totals the further south you go because you dealt with more rain uh, to start off this, and it was a slower turnover for you. But uh, we have it turned over to snow for everybody out there because the cold air is in place. And I know John has been har you know, harping and talking about this all day. It's going to be so cold overnight that slush is going to freeze, and it will be a slippery drive in the morning. Now, I've got to you know, believe, and I feel confident, that the officials have been on top of this, and they're really taking their time with the roadways to make sure they're prepped for the morning. Because we've been talking so much about this. If the roads are not treated and they're not cleared, it will be a problem. But uh, let's be optimistic that they're going to be on top of it. There you have it, guys. We are live here in the Storm Watch Center. Back to you guys. All right.